All right, everyone. I don't know how many of you are on here. If you can actually see me, I'm not sure if you can see me. I can see myself, um, but I'm happy to be on the live stream. Wow, it's been so long. How long has it been? I think it's been over a year. Um, let me know in the um, comments down below if you can see me, if you can say hello. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're working. I think we're live. So if you're seeing this and there's a, a little red light and it says live, then you're on here live. Wow, like I said, it's been at least over a year. I'm, I'm thinking March 20, let's see, 2020. Now we're in like, what, May? Mid-May, the end of May. And yeah, we're still on here. So that's really cool. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Let me know where you're watching from in the chat. If you're a first timer, let me know. If you're here from a long time ago, let me know. It would be great um, to just catch up to see what's going on with all of you. Everything's good with me. I'm wearing my Munster shirt. Let me show you. There we go. We see uh, Fred Gwynn in his, in his hot rod there. People are gonna start to chime in. And thank you all for dropping by, for leaving a like, for saying hello. I do appreciate it. Um, I thought, why not do a live stream? It's been so long, I've been so, preoccupied making my videos the main stuff for my channel obviously and I've been having so much fun and so I don't know it's great to see people on here it's nice to see David coming in with the first comment of the live stream what's happening glad to see you live glad you are here live David I appreciate it um, let's see Christopher Kraft longtime supporter of the channel people are starting to trickle in little by little I see the numbers going up Hesperia, California, not too far. I'm in Southern California, so that's not too far at all. Randy, how are you, Randy? Nice to see you. Uh, moderator of the live streams. Thank you so much, Randy, for dropping in. Excellent. Yeah, right, 113, right on the cusp of 114,000 subscribers. Mind-blowing, right? Mind-blowing the number um yeah and and people are starting to trickle in lazy homebody you're lurking like usual like in the comments right you're always in the comments i love it lakeland florida look at that i've never been to florida it's definitely on my list to go love to see walt disney world all that stuff let's see um let me just scroll up here the chat's going pretty quickly i'm not used to the speed of the chat now so i actually slowed it down um to help me for my eyes Okay, let's see here. So from Philadelphia, we see people from Georgia, New York, Wichita, Kansas. Look at this, Nathan. Have you been, Nathan? Feel free to ask me questions. Introduce yourself. I'm Rick9G. If you haven't seen me in so long, some people I know watch my videos and they haven't seen my face or they don't know what I look like. Um, so yeah, coming on here, you put a face to the voice. Some people have watched me for years, no, but some people who haven't, no, because usually I don't put myself in the uh, in the videos, just my voice. All right, let's see here. Hopefully I can get to as many people as possible. Let me see here. Wow, chat's going so fast. Hi from Florida, Kate, nice to see you. T-I-N-I, -I. tiny, is that <laughs> That's not too hard. Why Why was it complicated? It's because it's not tiny, T-I-N-Y, but it's still tiny. It works. Nice name. All right, Aaliyah, nice to see you as well. Ooh, mister. I feel so important being called mister. It's like I'm, I have to straighten out my shirt now. Um, Shirt. Sure. Usually all these shirts, I have a lot of Lucy shirts. David, you sent me a few. Um, Christopher, I believe, sent me a few. Um, Oh man, so many people have sent me shirts. I have, and I try to like cycle them, the ones that I use. So now today, Munsters, in case you guys and gals haven't seen it. Always classic TV on here. Hey Kevin, Kevin says, Rick, love your channel. You cover a lot of the old shows I love to watch. Nice. Let me know, Kevin, in the, in the chat, what are some of these old shows, classic shows that you love that I cover? Hey, John from Texas Nights. It's eight. Yes, because you're two hours ahead, right? From California time. From Boston, very nice. 
I just drink water. Nothing too fancy. Hey, Jamie. You can only stay for a bit, but I'm here. Don't worry. Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah, that John Ritter video. Yeah, John Ritter's wife, Amy Yazbe Yazbeth, I believe, Yazbeth. Um, yeah, she watched it and she loved it. Top comment on that video. Orange County, California. Not that far, William. Not that far. Very good. Colorado. Your name is Logan and you are a fan of Gilligan's Island. Any favorite episodes? Any favorite moments from the show? Let me know. No trivia today. Just simple. Keeping in touch with you. Sometimes keep it simple. So I'm going to keep it simple today. Very much so. Oh, from Canada. Wow. You're the first person not from the, in the United States that's come in the chat and said hello. So awesome. Nice to see you all. And there are nearly 100 people on the stream right now. Only 32 likes. If you guys and gals haven't hit the like button, I would appreciate it. Um, it does help out the channel. It does help out the algorithm. It does help out to let other people know about my channel, what I do, cover these classic shows, these actors, their memory, their work, all this stuff. It's like a life project of mine. It's a passion. I love it. Um, Lower Slobovia, right here. Right here, Christopher. I'm from Lower Slobovia. I know Christopher obviously knows where that's from. Can anyone else tell me where that reference is from? I've mentioned it a couple times, and then Christopher caught me regarding to that, and it was just so, so funny. Hey, nice to see you, Arthur. Hopefully you're doing great. Salute to you. Nothing better than Batman on a 60-inch screen. Wow, I can't even show that. I can't even show that on here. After growing up watching on a 14th. Ah, see, so you watch it on a little screen like this, but now you can watch it like this. Boom, so big. That is awesome. Vincent from Australia, you get the thumbs up of the day from Rick 9G for being the farthest so far. You're like, what time is it, Vincent? Can you let us know what time is it? It is currently at this moment, 6.08 p.m. Pacific time, as they call it. Um, what time is it in Australia? I'd love to know. Kevin, you like all the Lucy shows, Munsters, Adam's Family. Glad you like it. Glad you like it. I love covering those shows. Some of my favorite, absolute favorites of all time. Plague Doctor, nice to see you on here. First time I think I've seen you. Central Florida, look at that. Emergency as well. Randy always, always working hard on the on the on the chats. Hey Care, Care A Roto. Uh, let me see. So I'm trying to get to as many people as possible. Just kind of looking through the chats, get back to saying hello. Feel free to ask questions about the, the, the videos that I cover. Um, they're just, you know, if we keep it focused on the classic TV stuff, that's what I usually do on here. But it's so great to catch up to see names that I haven't seen in so long, it's to see new people on here, to see people passionate about that. And I appreciate it. 30-something other people liked it. In addition, so I appreciate all of you who do that. Um, Paul Stan, uh, you ask, three suges? Question mark. Uh, more details, what do you mean on that? New York, Kevin from Ohio. Kevin, I've seen you before, right? Kevin Camper. Oh, you grew up in Southern California and you left us for Ohio, for far, far away. You guys get snow, right? Not, not here. Oh, little Abner. <laughs> Fred. Oh, man. Let me see. Uh... <laughs> there we go, Paul Testa. First stop, Lower Slobovia. You're hilarious. You're awesome. Oh, my God. Paul Testa, great supporter of the channel. Always great to see you pop in, Paul. Thanks for your messages. Hopefully you got the... So, Paul was one... There's been so many giveaway winners, but Paul was one of the um, giveaway winners. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And I think, from what I remember, you messaged me saying you got the uh, DVD. So I appreciate that. Let me see. Uh, oh my gosh, it's 11.09 a.m. in Australia. So it's light here, it's light over there, but it's the next day. It's Monday, you guys are starting work already. We're <laughs> lazy on a Sunday evening. 
let's see. Oh, Kate Gullick, is that correct? Sometimes I it's hard to pronounce names for me. I always pronounce it the wrong. So I may say like Kate G, a little easier. Um, your granddaughter and you binge watch the Munsters videos. Do you just binge watch the actual episodes like on TV or you mean my videos or which do you mean? <clears throat> Lisa, six million dollar man or bionic woman. I've never seen them. Um, but as of now, I mean, any show that's considered classic, I would say anything up to the late 90s, I would consider classic myself. And obviously, anything from like the dawn of television, late 40s, all the way to, to the end of the 90s, I would consider classic. And then in between, there's different ones, just like comic books have the Silver Age, the Golden Age, the Bronze Age, and so forth. I would say classic TV has the same thing, the Golden Age of TV, the Silver Age, and so forth. Um, so, yeah. Oh, Katie, yeah, great question. What is your favorite thing about going to Lucy's hometown? That's a great question. Um, I really, I think the museum was, uh, the, it's like one museum. They're right next to each other. You could visit one, you pay, and then with that same admission, you can go to the one next door. And there's kind of different things. One is more I Love Lucy focus only. And the other one is more Lucille Ball, Desi Arnaz focus. And there's other stuff from her movies and things like that. So that, to me, was uh, the coolest stuff. Oh, great, Paul. Glad you got that. Yeah, I thought I thought I did, but I wanted to let you confirm that for me. Yeah, if you're ever, if any of you are ever like, how can I watch these episodes and so forth, participate in the giveaways. They're absolutely free. All I ask is that you're a subscriber, you like the video, in which I say you participate in the giveaway and you literally give me your mailing address so I could send you the DVD. That's all you have to do. So many people participate um, and it's really great to like send these things, you know, to people. To be like, I've sent like so many of these. This is like season six. I'll send this type of stuff. In case people don't know, I do that all the time. Um, so yeah, it's really cool. I've never covered Andy Griffith's show. There's a reason for that. Uh, I used to watch it as a kid. And recently, it just hasn't really appealed to me in terms of watching it. I tried watching it, and um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. There are other shows that I just more, I'm more focused on. Oh, awesome. We have our first Super Chat of the live stream. Now, in case you don't know, Super Chat is a great way to pretty much um, support the channel. That goes toward the channel directly. Uh, you know, someone decides to donate, give something to the channel, and if you write a message, uh, definitely read it out and we can discuss, talk about the shows, whatever you'd like to know. It's, it basically highlights your comment above everyone else's. So thank you, Raymond Driggers, for the $5 super chat. You're awesome, Raymond. I think, could be mistaken, first time I've seen you on here. And I appreciate that you're on here. Very, very cool. Yeah, let me know, Raymond, what is your favorite show uh, that I cover or any maybe that you do like, maybe I don't cover. It would be great to know. Christina, remember the thumbs up like button. Thank you so much. A lot of people have. There's about 100 people on here, 76 likes. That's pretty good. Pretty good ratio. We can get it higher, but it's very good. I'm appreciative for that. Let's see how. Oh, yes. I, I watch YouTube myself. Like, I I scour, and I have, like, I don't know. I, I guess, I guess. Of course I'm a YouTuber. Like, that's the reality, but... I get YouTube starstruck sometimes. Like I have other YouTubers that I watch all the time. Like it's my daily thing to watch. I could name some if you'd like, but yeah, many different topics. And so yeah, I'll comment every once in a while. I don't know if because I'm a YouTuber and the, the, the size of my channel, if it like moves my comments up, which is fine. But sometimes people say they see my comments and yeah, I leave the craziest comments sometimes. Um, yeah, but it's really funny because it, it's, <laughs> I don't know, it's just like a funny thing. Oh my gosh, it's funny. I'm doing great, Jared. Thank you for asking. Jared, you've been here for so long. Like, you've been a long time supporter of the channel. Um, yeah, thank you so much for, for, for doing so. Paris Stu, always here. You're always a good supporter. Emmett M. McAdams coming with another super chat. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Emmett says, long time no see, 
Glad you're back. I'm assuming you mean live. Yes. Long time since I've been live. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous getting on here because I was like, would I be able to do it? Would I be like, hey everyone. I, I, I didn't know if I would be like that, but then it's, I, I guess it's like, you just start a little rusty on the bike and then once you get back on, you're just like pedaling. So that's, that's how I feel, you know? So I'm pretty good, I'm pretty good right now. Thank you, Emmett. Uh, let's see. It's kind of hard to <laughs> when I go back into the comments room. I'm like, whoa, this is where people are. So um, know that I, I I try to read as many as possible. Doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Oh yeah, have you read a book by Desi Arnaz? Is this gonna give me more clout if I do this? Hold on, everyone. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I have it. I can't find it though. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> I do have it. Yeah, so this this is a book called A Book <laughs> by Desi Arnaz. It was, th this is expensive. If, if people want to get this, first of all, it's hard to get. Second of all, if you do even find it, because I had trouble finding it. Mr. Detective here, Eagle Eyes, had a little bit of a hard time finding it. When I did find it, it was expensive. Um, like all the copies, like some of these sell for $200 and it's not like even a signed copy. It's just because it's limited print, right? I was able to get one for like 30 bucks. I got really lucky. I did my scouring of, of the world wide webs and I guess it worked out. So William, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that I was able to get it for sure. Christopher Crab, look how nice of you. Don't be nervous, you're with friends. That's what I feel. I absolutely feel that. Um, because it's like, we all like the same stuff. We're all nerds, right? We're all nerds for classic TV, and I mean that in a good way. Like, we love this stuff. I live and breathe this stuff. I live and breathe I Love Lucy. Some people ask me, when are you gonna stop making I Love Lucy? Nope, not gonna happen. Um, it's not gonna be every single video I'm gonna do of I Love Lucy. I'll throw some variety in there, get some new shows in there, add more content of the ones I already cover. But I Love Lucy, there will always be something. Even if I cover every single topic, I'll be like, okay, episode one, boom. All the way to episode 179, plus the 13 of the uh, Lucy Desi comedy hour. So yeah. Washington State says hi. I say hi back. Nice to see you. You're up there, right? You're two states above me. Vincent, nice to see you. Have a good one. Oh, Raymond, there you go. Maybe you changed your picture. I just didn't recognize you. Sometimes it's it's hard, but you chatted two years ago and you've been a sub for about three years. Well, I appreciate that. I wish we can give you guys like a little like, like after a year, we can give you like a little medallion or something like a little emoji medallion that you can wear and, and it pops up on here. So it's like people who are a year over or more and they'll give, or maybe like a little number, like five will mean like you've been with me five years, one year, um, half year be like 0.5 or something like that. That would be cool. They might do something like that or maybe they do and I just don't know about it. I'm, 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 I'm an old person. I don't know about this. Um, let me see here. Oh yeah, so field guy, uh, Desi Arnaz was on, I did see that video where he was on the Johnny Carson zone. Yeah, they always promote their books. I have the Harpo Marx book as well, Harpo Speaks, right? That's a good one as well. Paris Du Mo, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I have seen you in the comments below. Thank you so much, I'm, I'm itchy right now. Uh, recently you watched Nanny, the TV show with Fran Drescher, right? And you realize that John Aston had a cameo in it Wow, look at this. Look how specific you are. Season 3, episode 20, and season 4, episode 9. You loved his camera. So he was in two. That's cool. I've I've never watched those episodes. When I was a kid, I probably watched like two episodes of The Nanny. So I definitely know what you're talking about. I haven't seen those specifically, but that's really cool. Um, see, I learn stuff from you guys and else all the time. Thank you for the $5 super chat. You're amazing. You guys are awesome being uh, so generous to me, the channel, and all that stuff. Captain Trek, I'm such a Trek fan. 
the problem, let me tell you what the problem with Trek is. I feel like either people are really huge Trek fans, I'm talking about obsessive, I'm in there, or they don't like it. And I feel like if I put it on here, it would be like half would like, or maybe like a third. I don't know how many people on here are Trek fans at all, but I feel like maybe I could do the 60s stuff, but if I do the 80s or 90s, that may be only for some. So I don't know, maybe in the future, I, I haven't decided. I mean, there's so many decisions to make as a YouTuber that it's sometimes hard to decide what roads to take and sometimes you'll make mistakes, I've made them, and then sometimes you'll hit something really good that you didn't know you'd hit on, you know. Um, so yeah. Hey, Pablo Solis. Hey, Rick from Argentina. It's 1021 here. My dad is from Argentina. I don't know if uh, you're from Buenos Aires, but that's really cool. Um, nice to see you on there. It's pretty late, so I appreciate that you're on here. David, nice to see you. It has been a long time. So, Gail Watson, I have done videos on the Twilight Zone. You should check them out. So, what you can do, I think some people don't know this, you can actually type in Rick9G, hit the channel, and then you go videos. And there's a little magnifying glass and you can hunt for things you can go like twilight zone all my twilight zone videos will pop up all my lucy videos whatever you, you know those shows and obviously i haven't covered every show but yeah i have over 1400 videos on different shows so yeah there's a lot for people to see what would i do for 500 bucks <laughs> in regards to a super chat that's pretty that's pretty funny like, I don't know. I've never thought of that. I think the largest super chat was like a hundred bucks. And I think my mouth was like this for like 15 seconds. So I guess that's the reward for a hundred bucks. Me doing that for 15 seconds. Maybe $500 would be something like 75 seconds. Yeah. The Sarge, nice to see you, Sarge. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever, but I always thought of you. I thought of you last time. I was like, I wonder if Sarge is enjoying all the all the Hogan Serials episodes, all the stuff that you like. Thank you for the $10 super chat. You're awesome. You're amazing. Let's see here. Love the deep dive content you like. Uh, oh, sorry. Like you did with Leon Askin. Yes, he was the uh, general. General Bocata. And the son of Major Hawksetter, Lyle Kane. Great stuff. Keep it going. And yes, you are a major trekker. Nice to know that. I'm glad. Um, I think some people are secret trek fans. I think that's a fan. What's funny, I haven't seen the real McCoys. The only reason why I know about the show is because sometimes on my way to work, I'll drive by the actual real McCoy house. It's part of the old Desilu Culver lot. And... It's kind of funny because it's like still up. It's 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 still there. So that's pretty crazy. Oh man. Then go up to 800. Wow, for 800, I I'd, I'd have to do like a I'd have to tear down the the scenery or something. I'd have to go like ah and just like pull it down or something. <laughs> you like that? Maybe that's that's an $800 worth sound. Like ah, right? I don't I don't know. Um, let me see here. David, David Davenport coming in with a $20 super chat. You're awesome, David. Thank you so much. Great supporter of the channel. Um, just a great heart of an individual who loves everything classic, reaches out to me, reaches out to the community, does so much good there. So I appreciate it. If you could interview Lucille Ball, what questions with an ask would you ask? Wow. Well, first, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be as nervous as I was when I started the live stream. I'd really want to know her thoughts if she was alive right now, and let's say she was able to, to make another show. What would it be? How would she want to do it? Come up with the next show. So I think her last one was Life with Lucy, right? And then she was with Gail Gore and so forth. What would the next one be called? Lucy and the Internet? I don't know. <laughs> um... Lucy, uh, Lucy, modern Lucy. I don't know, but th th those are horrible names, Rick. Uh, but yeah, I would like her to know that. I would like her to tell me what she thinks about my channel and me deep diving, because I was kind of the first one to kind of helm that concept. And I don't know, like, it's, it's kind of a contextual analysis of 
the art that is her show and so forth. So yeah. Happy Place Explorers. I'm a huge fan of Happy Place Explorers. Let me just say, let me give them a shout out. If you guys and gals are any fans at all of Disney content, Disney, sometimes they pepper in stuff about like the golden age of Hollywood because there's some rides that kind of allude to that um, in Florida. And they talk about stuff like that. Like there's a Twilight Zone ride in Disney. Check them out. Um, they're awesome. Happy Place Explorers. Look them up. They're awesome. Great team they have here. So thank you, David. Oh, and I'm glad that you like, let me go back up there, my rear window stuff. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do more Hitchcock for sure. I want to do a couple things on Psycho, and then there's a few things on Rope that I'm definitely going to look at. That's my favorite Hitchcock film, Rope. Yeah. So Scott B., I haven't been doing live streams in a jillion ages, but I can tell you that um, I've been doing videos every few days. So yeah. Who's on my mug? So this, my brother, it's my brother's doing. Th this is all like Mario. And I'm a big theme park fan too. I wish I could go now, but stuff's happening with everyone else. And yeah, they're building one of these at Universal. If you want to see that, Happy Place Explorers. All right. Uh, da, da, da. Hey, thank you, Tommy, for coming into the live stream. All right. Let me, okay. Do you like video games? Yeah, I do. I actually do. This channel was actually a video game channel before, like uh, PC games and so forth. Let's see. I have heard about Monty Python. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a little bit of the episodes or a little bit of some scenes that are pretty funny and stuff. Yeah. Not like a huge fan or anything. <laughs> it would probably have Lucy in the title, Happy Place. <laughs> That's so funny. You know, I really have to go near the, the Culver Studios and just film it for you guys. Um, I haven't done that, but I feel like I need to do that now that things are a little more accessible. Um, it is not that far. Um, it's, it's on a long commute. It's like a 45 minute commute, so I can get there. And yeah, I would love to show you what the original Desi Lou Culver Studios looks like. There's like a mural, a uh, Ricky and, and Lucy mural there. And that's where they film Batman, just all these cool shows. They're actually doing renovations to it. I would love to go. Um, let me know, maybe may, maybe people wanna see that. If you do, let me know in the comments here. Um, but yeah. All right, let me see here. Giraffe loves 21, who are who are you? So I am the voice behind the videos of Rick9G. There we go. <laughs> so if you've seen my videos, I cover classic TV shows, movies. I love Lucy Gilligan's Island, um, the Hulk, you know, the Hulk TV show from the 80s, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Medical Center, Nancy. I've never heard that show. What era or what decade was that from? Yeah, so Max Roseman, great question here. What happened to Desilu Studios after Lucy and Desi passed? So way before they passed, they, they sold pretty much a lot of, like Desi Arnaz had the rights to all the I Love Lucy episodes, and those were sold to CBS um, for the story. And then we have, uh, so everything was taken care of before, of course, uh, some of their kids, some of their kids, their kids inherited some. And of course, whenever I give you guys salaries and stuff, note that usually has to do with people who are deceased because that information is easier to get released. So right now we can't really talk about people who are alive, their salary, what they have right now, because it's all fluid. A lot of that is protected, right? So that's something to think about. Um, so yeah, so we can't speculate on that. And I have so much to say, but I'll probably just leave it at that. Oh yeah, so William Peterson, the Bill Bixby season one show, The Magician, I've heard of that. I was really into magic before. Oh, and there's another super chat. There we go. Uh, but I'll finish the thought before I get to the super chat. Um, yeah, I used to, I was a professional magician at one, at one time when I was really young, 18, 18 to my 20s. 
And um, yeah, Bill Bixby is a magician. Awesome. All right, Marshall Kim Jong-un. $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Marshall. I appreciate it. You're awesome. Look at this. We have a hundred and almost 130 likes. Whoa. <laughs> that, I didn't even know I had to react to that. I was just like, whoa. <laughs> Thanks everyone for that. You're awesome. Yeah, a studio tour. So I, you're not allowed to go inside. Unless maybe like I, I throw the I throw the security guard like a super chat and honestly a lot of these studios now are like most of them are just empty buildings unless they're filming something and then of course um, yeah you you can't really go in but from the outside you can see a lot you could see the the house from the outside the original real McCoy's house that house was seen in Batman as well if you've ever a fan of cars and coffee with like the Jerry Seinfeld thing he pulled up to that house like it's a very famous house um so yeah okay let me get back to this my mother the car i've heard of that people are telling me about that for sure quantum leap i've been told i should do quantum leap fantasy island so what's really cool about fantasy island i haven't seen many episodes but ricardo montalban who was the main guy montalban um I went to school with his grandson. That's one of the things. We were in the same class together. And he was at my first communion. <laughs> he was literally sitting behind me because uh, it also happened that his grandson, grandkids, like, came to the same, like, school that I went to. Also in grammar school. Like, it's weird. But, yeah. So, it's it's kind of an interesting little take here. Brian Redman, great supporter of the channel. Awesome. Thank you, Croc. Is that correct? Have you ever thought of doing videos on Seinfeld? I've made a couple. Um, again, I think for Seinfeld, there's like a love-hate relationship, and I, I, I totally get that. Um, there's certain shows which like everyone loves, and then there's certain shows that people don't like. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna get into Seinfeld, sure. <clears throat> a crime-solving magician? Is that real? Well, I guess I'm not surprised the, 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 with all these plots of shows. <laughs> That's new to me. I, did, I thought he was just like a magician and it was like about his life and he performed on stage and stuff. That is, that is funny. That's hilarious, actually. Um, life of Riley the Bendix episodes. I honestly have no idea what that is, to be honest with you. You guys should let me know um, because I learn from you guys and gals all the time. Welcome to Fantasy Island. There was one thing. There was one. Michael Ian, nice to see you. I appreciate you coming on the live stream. Great support of the channel as well. El Gallo. Whoa, someone got a new dog. Who got a new dog? And named her Lucille Ball after Lucy. That is awesome. I'm so glad you did that. It's not only good because you got a dog, but named the dog Lucy. That is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Well, I have a dog. His name is Falco. He's not lame, not lame, not lame, not named Lucy or anything like that. But that's a great name. She has a great name here. All right, let's. Um... So, if any of you are still fans of um. Oh no, scratch that. I'm gonna start start again. I'm gonna start again, Rick. Um, any of you have seen the latest videos that I made, maybe between today, going back to two, three months, any of the ones that you actually really enjoyed that you want to see more of. So I'm not necessarily talking at this moment about new shows, about the shows that I already cover. Which ones do you want to see more of? Um, I can give you an idea of which I cover more or less and so forth, and what type. Do you want to see more blooper stuff? Do you want to see more behind the scenes stuff? Let me just tell you, some people are like a drama video. Rick, you're getting into drama. A lot of people like those videos and ask for those videos. So it's me walking the fine line of making them and then trying to cover them respectfully because that's number one. I want to honor the memory of all these individuals that I cover and so that's important to me. It's not just making a video to make a video. I'm usually, usually, I get passionate about a topic and I report on it, I talk about it. And so 
That's awesome. Wow, 120 people on here, 100, almost 50 likes. Let's get that number higher. I think we could do it, guys and gals. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you, Brian. George S., thank you so much, George. Thumbs up to you. Christian brother, always enjoy your videos. They're always a bright spot in my day. I, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Friends, I have watched Friends. Not, not a huge fan. I don't know if I would even consider that a classic show. I guess at this point it is. Um, maybe because I'm not like a huge <laughs> fans watcher. I guess it would be in there. But yeah, nothing that really sticks out to me in, in terms of interest. No, it was just, uh, so he's a greyhound dog, and if you know the greyhound dog itself is one of the fastest land animals, I think the third fastest land animal, run up to like 40 something miles an hour, the fastest bird is a falcon, and they're streamlined, like a greyhound's very streamlined, so I thought falcon, dropped the N, and it was falco, so it, it kind of was created, you know? Sanford and Son, love Sanford and Son, big fan of that. You guys like, let's see, behind the scenes stuff. What else? Ah, never late, Gloria. Don't worry. The, the live stream will always be here for you to watch later and so forth. So, no worries. I haven't covered the Little Rascals. Not yet. Maybe I will. You like bloopers, mistakes, all that type stuff. Okay, very, very cool. Very, very cool. Keep letting me know, guys and gals, what type of stuff do you want to see? Bloopers, salaries, um, anything else I haven't covered? I've been really enjoying the car videos, like the famous, I'm, I'm a car guy in itself, but I didn't know a lot about these cars, like the I Love Lucy car. I just covered the, the van from the A-Team. Um, there's a lot more cars. I don't want to reveal exactly what I'm going to do, but I can tell you that there are more coming of those. I'm, I'm tracking down a lot of these cars. Um, my eventual goal would be to like meet some of these people who own the cars and like take a ride in them or something That'd be awesome. So if any of you know Absolutely perfect strangers. Absolutely. Absolutely gonna be covering perfect strangers So how did I get interested in these classic TV shows? It started with I love Lucy It's I love Lucy's fault and um, as a three-year-old. I don't know why I loved watching Lucy I actually have it playing right here and like right now, as I'm doing this. One screen, you guys, one screen here. I give half my attention to Lucy and half to you. And yeah, I think that show was so golden because it introduced so many icons of American television and movies um, that introduced me to so much of the culture. And from there, it just branched out. Like Marx Brothers, right? And then we got like Stooges, and it just keeps going like John Wayne, Bill Holden, boom, 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 right? Um, yeah, and I used to watch other stuff. I watched Twilight Zone. I watched The Hulk every once in a while. Family Matters. A lot of the 90s stuff I would watch first time because I was that old. But, yeah. All right. So, so, so let's see. I'm just going up a little bit, seeing what shows people are mentioning. George Burns, Gracie Allen. People have definitely told me about that show. Um, looking to see if any more of the shows that I'm already covering... Yeah, Dog is 100% great, doing so well. Actually, he's probably more energetic, more lively now than he's ever been. And he's got to calm down. He, he sucks all that energy from me. On his walks, he's like pulling me. Miss the bloopers. Thank you, David. Definitely into the behind the scenes stuff. More San Francisco honeymooners. Well noted. Get Smart. I have made some videos on Get Smart. Not a lot. There's a few that I wanted to make. There's one that's right in my brain there. Um, What's interesting is the audience for Get Smart, I think, isn't on here yet. And and so that, by making more of that videos, will bring the audience in, of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice, Brian. Glad you, glad you got a new dog. Georgia from Arizona. Nice. Backstage gossip. You guys want, want to hear about people who are like doing this behind, behind the scenes. Like cameras right here, but then when they go behind this... This white thing, right? That, that's what you guys want to see. And some people ask, why aren't you showing footage of this? Well, it's 1955. We'd be hard pressed to find some behind the scenes footage of people duking it out behind the I Love Lucy set. You probably won't find that. <laughs> 1955. 
Now, Don Wells, by the way, poor little Don Wells uh, passed away recently from Gilligan's Island. She actually had home movies from um, the Gilligan's Island stuff, and they're on this old like brrr, type little handheld thing she had. Um, it's pretty cool, and and they are like available out there to see. They'll probably like put them out one day. Gilligan's Island, I love Gilligan's Island for sure. Family Matters, huge Family Matters fan. I do I need to prove how much of a of a Family Matters fan I have. This is the whole show. All right. Uh, yeah, Star Trek fan. Right here. All right. <laughs> I have such huge collections. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 really hard what I do in the sense of deciding to branch out into shows and then still doing the ones that I cover. Because some people come because they want a certain show and then maybe they don't see it and then they're like, you won't do that show again. But I will. I'll come back to them. So I also feel like some people even tell me, Rick, branch out, find out about new shows. I challenge all of you to do that as well. Like, find out about these other shows that you may not have watched, that they're good stuff, right? So it's like we each learn and, and, and find out new things about different shows. So absolutely. Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Is that as good as Twilight Zone? Because I love Hitchcock. Let me see here. Ah, uh, The Hassle and Wayne Manor. I feel like I've made a video on that. Could be wrong. I'd have to go check. Yeah, we only have one original Gilligan's Island main character, main actor alive. Wow. Tina, Tina Louise. It's pretty crazy to think that. Like, think, think when seven of them were alive and then it's like a creepy thing to think. It's like, who's going to be, you know, like who's left or, or who's going to be the last one up. And, and, and the fact that, you know, they each like leave one by one and then you don't expect some and you maybe expect the other because they're older and so forth. And then it's like, we're down to the last. It's like, I don't know, just time moves so swiftly and, and quickly. Yeah. You like Family Matters a lot more before Urkel took over the show. Really? So you like the first couple seasons? I liked it right in the middle. Right in the middle. I liked it right when it was the, um, just like the crux of the show. When it got to the end, it got kind of zany. Like the last season was, well, and then I think even the first season was, well, and, but that's more most shows. I mean, the idea is a show doesn't know how to start, and then the characters get used to it. They get really into the dialogue. They they really like. How could I explain it? They really get into their character really well, and then the chemistry is so great by like third or fourth season, and then it depends how long the show's gonna go for, right? And then at the end, some shows are starving for ideas. Some shows don't even get that far. So. There's so much, right, to a show that it's just, it's just crazy to think about. But The Hitchcock Presents is more like a horror-type shorter stories, right, versus like The Twilight Zone that's not necessarily horror. It's more like sci-fi and morality tales, right? Is there a morality tale to that? <laughs> yes, Desi Arnaz definitely has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yep, so does Lucille Ball. Let me see here. Yeah, so Will, I have made one video <laughs> on the uh, Groucho Marx, You Bet Your Life. Um, it wasn't received so well in terms of views. People who watched it liked it, though. But that's very common, you know, when you put, a, like myself, on a channel like this, when you put a video on something very new, you might only get people who, small crossover. But then, like, if I put another I Love Lucy series up, it might get more views than like You Bet Your Life because like the I Love Lucy people watch the Here's Lucy and so forth. So I don't know, some of the intricacies of YouTube is really interesting. Um, ha ha. Classic TV commercials, that's a good one. Um, honestly, I don't know how many people would be interested in that. Maybe they're, they would, I've, I've never thought of that. I don't know what I could actually dissect from them. That would be something that I could probably have to do more research or just like think about. But it's one of those things where, um, hmm, 
because they're really short, right? And then I'm sure that people who saw these shows know about the commercials, like Lilt, Home Permanent, you know, like we don't see that anymore. Or um, what do you call it? The Coffee? Sanka, right? Sanka, you don't really see, I don't think, Sanka commercials anymore and so forth. So it might, it might have to, um, yeah, I might have to get into that. I don't know how to explain that. Yeah, right now, I'm not going to say too much about it. I'll just answer it very simply. Right now, the Cartoon Channel is on hiatus. There's reasons for that um, until further notice. And, and and that's all I'll say because I don't want to say too much. So, yeah, but I appreciate the, I appreciate the question on that. Yes, yes, yes. So, cool aunt 516 how about a video of commercials, now famous, people made before they were famous? So, I haven't made one specifically on commercials. But I have made the videos on people who were famous before. Uh, so you should check those out. I've also done like cartoon voice actors who are in classic shows. That's really cool. Yeah. Hmm. Mission Impossible. Interesting. Thank you, Scott. So any of the videos that I've recently made, any stood out to you, any you want to see more about, specifically the shows, you know, the Three's Company videos that I made recently, not the last one with Suzanne Summers. I'm wondering because maybe people just knew that, but then sometimes I cover other stuff that I think is obvious. Let's say like, I don't, sometimes I don't want to cover certain topics. I'm like, no, everyone probably knows that. But then I'm going to be like, eh, what the heck, I'll put it on. And I put it in like, it does really well. But then this Suzanne Summers one, I was like, well, I don't think a lot of people knew. And I think a lot of people knew, which is why they didn't watch it, because they were like, people knew this. So yeah, it's 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 hard to know what people like, what they won't like, what they saw, what they didn't see. So yeah. Did you prefer the Ropers, you're asking me, Randy, on uh, or Furley on Three's Company? Easy answer, no hesitation. I have many reasons for it. Mr. Furley. I honestly, I respect what the Ropers did. I respect what Norman Fell did and Audra Lindley. But I think Furley, Don Knotts is on another level. That's just me. And I'd be happy to entertain the opposite opinion. But that's just my opinion. One fan, just like all of your fans, and we all have our opinions on this stuff, right? But, oh, oh thank you. You like my chair? It's a very comfortable chair. There's like a there's like a pillow right here. And down here there's like a back pillow. I don't know if you see that. And this can it can slide like up and down. It's really, really comfy. It's like a racing slash like gaming chair. It's a little squeaky, but other than that, it's pretty good. As a little boy in the 80s, I, I used to watch Blossom, but I remember nothing about it. <laughs> That's funny. All right, we've been on here for, let me see where my timer is, 48 minutes. Uh, I think I'll be stopping very, very soon. So if you have any questions that you'd like to know um, about past videos that I've made, about maybe what I'd cover in the future, um, if any of you want me to take certain trips to locations, I feel like the location videos are very interesting. I also do, every once in a while, do graveyard videos where I visit graveyards to see actors, you know, uh, tombstones and, and where they were laid to rest. And what's really interesting is initially the views aren't there, but then boom, they skyrocket after because I think like people find them and then they're just really interesting. And I know someone does that like completely and I think it's pretty cool, but I wouldn't do it all the time. It's just something that I, every once in a while I want to go visit the actors that, you know, are really important to me and that I love on shows. So yeah. Leave it to Bieber, I've never seen. Could you believe that? More Emergency, Adam 12, definitely. That's on my list. Adam 12, yeah. Yeah, people have this chair because it's super comfy. And I also, you can't see here, but I have my whole setup here, my professional mic, my two monitor, dual monitor, my camera. I do my editing literally right here. And so you need to have a comfortable chair. And this chair, I could be on this chair for four hours and I'm great. Like right now, I've been on this chair for at least four hours. I mean, I get up and stuff. But like, 
uh, it really helps, and that's why people like it. So, Logan Boggs. Hello, Rick. Do you like my comments? I don't remember them specifically. Believe me, I see... On weekends, I take a break from looking at comments and then I get back to it on the weekdays. But I try to read every single comment, um, good, bad, indifferent, whatever it might be, silly ones, and I read through them. Um, sometimes I respond, uh, mostly to people who directly ask me something or, or if they want a clarification, that's when I mostly answer, answer things, yeah. Um, well, I think, I think I usually just make videos on I Love Lucy, so I won't be making a specific 70th anniversary, like, edition. I'm not really into making videos that are very dated, and what I mean by that, I did it a couple times. I made a video where it was like, oh, Christmas and Christmas theme. I don't know, it's not my thing, because then I feel like next, the month after that, that holiday's done, and then no one watches that video. So, I like videos that are two years old, let's say. And you can click on and it's still relevant. That's my thing. And I, I think that's really, really, really important because I want people to be able to watch and learn this stuff all the time, not just like one time of the year. So yeah, like if I do a video on Lucy's funniest moments, let's say, I'm just making that up, but I don't wanna say Lucy's funniest moments, uh, Lu Lu like Lucy's funniest Christmas moments. Cause then, I mean, who's gonna wanna watch that in July, right? But that's just me, and that's just my, my, my thing. Scott B, Abandoned Places. Um, it has to tie in somehow to classic TV shows and movies. Uh, in the greater Los Angeles County area, there aren't that many abandoned places that have to do with movies. There are some that I have in mind, like ranches, like filming ranches and stuff. But what they do is they just build it, build back up right on top of it. So, yeah, there. It's, I would think more in like other cities and other rural areas have more abandoned stuff yeah so ella oh man i can't say your name ella glabulous finally subscribed i've enjoyed your videos immensely i'm not nostalgic but i confess i love all those videos on the series of my childhood i'm with you i i like that stuff too and that's why i'm able to report on this um really and and it's a gift of it's a gift it's a labor of love because if you really don't like these shows or don't like this stuff, it's really hard to make videos on this stuff. That's why I will always say that there are some shows that I will never talk about. And that is because I have no interest or no passion. You may say, well, you should get into them. Well, no, because one of the things that I feel sets me apart is there is a passion when I make a video. And if I do something on Friends, let's say, I've never been a fan of Friends, the show or the people in the show. And so... I don't want to be disingenuous and be like, hey, I'm making a show on Friends. I've never watched it. You know, like, these are things that I've watched as a kid and, and decades have been with me. And you guys are finding out more of these shows that I like. And so, yeah, I definitely want to stick with what I've known, what I like. And every once in a while, I may, I may explore to something new um, that vaguely has an interest to something else, if that makes sense. Yeah, so it's a mad, mad, mad world. It has a lot of, like, celebrities and actors and stuff. Definitely like a rat race type film. I want to thank all of you, by the way, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I do want to talk a little bit about that because I feel that a lot of people watch and they don't know that subscribing is free. I have to stress that. Sometimes people say, you ask people to subscribe, you ask people to subscribe. I don't have any money to do that. You don't need any money. It's just literally subscribe button. It takes a few seconds, and if you guys and guys will know how impactful that is to a channel like mine to grow if if some of that stuff stagnates if people are just like ah, i don't need to subscribe um it does affect the channel and just so letting you know so i do appreciate when i see the subscriptions when i see people like every video that they enjoy right um and they watch every video as much as possible to the end that is what really keeps a channel like mine afloat and i'm really happy with people that just watch the end as much as possible because that really helps and it, I, I can see that I can see all of those statistics and it, it means a lot because um, it's like people are willing so that's why I try to make my videos concise to the point yes I have to remind people to subscribe because many different people come on here and so forth um, so yeah I've never seen leave it to beaver nope 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 
Have you ever done anything on Get Smart? I have. I have a whole playlist on Get Smart, so you should check it out. All right, getting more of these quest questions here. Thank you, Nan, for all the thumbs up there. Let me see. <laughs> I think we're all stuck in the past. <laughs> Um, I have never watched the Fast and Furious movie from beginning to end. Never. And I'm a car guy. Yeah. Wow, there's so many comments. I wish I could read every single one, but there's just so many. And as I'm scrolling, like more are being added. So I'm trying to pick as many as I can, kind of looking at them and so forth. So just let me, just, I'm just letting you know, trying to get to as many as possible. And I know you guys understand that, but you know. It's not an ignoring things, trying to get to as many as possible. Wow, 207 likes. You guys are awesome. Thank you for doing that. <clears throat> You're addicted to I Love Lucy. Your mom acts just like her. That is funny. That is hilarious. Yeah, honestly, I didn't. I didn't have the desire to go live. And, and that is because there's been a lot of stuff going on in the world. And I felt like I wanted to focus on my classic TV stuff and put that on there. And sometimes on, on these live streams, conversations can go a certain direction. And I always want this channel to be, uh, for the most part, politics, world events free, um, religion as well. Uh, what is important though, rarely there may be mentions of religion if it has to do with like an actor and it's like essential to their life. Well, yeah, right. Um, and it could be any religion, um, so that's not a problem. Um, but yeah, but anything like that, I just I just want to make shows, and I think most of you know, just on these classic TV shows, movies, funny stuff. Um, not all of it's funny, but just like I want that nostalgia to hit you as it hits me, and so yeah, that is that is super important. Yes, I am very alive and kicking. Yes, yes, yes. You try to get Bill Shatner on the show. I know he's 90. I, if I hear that correctly, if anyone could do the math, um, I, I feel like I want to do it to my phone. Just be like, hey, how old is Bill Shatner? I think he's 90. Um, he charges. Oh, people are going to have to do a lot more super chats then. You guys are funny. You guys are funny. <laughs> He'd be like, who is this weird YouTuber he wants me to talk to? He'll be like, oh, Oh gosh, you know, that that's funny. You guys are funny. See, you guys make me laugh. Hey Walter, nice to see you on the live stream. Greetings from Iowa, Michael Sheehan Jr. Very, very cool. Very cool. If you're a fan of the Munsters, make sure to check out my Munsters videos. I have a whole playlist, probably about 20 Munsters videos, deep diving into the show, a lot of cool stuff. Um, Let's see, so if we're talking about my next live chat, we'll just see, we'll just see how this goes, guys and gals. I wanna always keep stuff fresh. I, I, want, I wanna keep stuff authentic. So you know me, I've never like planned to be like, every single week I'm gonna do this, no. Um, I will try to announce if I can, but I think that the best thing to do is always subscribe, hit the notification icon, and that's how most people find these. Um, when you do that and it'll notify you and it's not 99 percent, but it's really close to it and it's pretty good pretty good most people it works for them right norma c your class act rick thank you for your videos i appreciate it thank you so much all right just a couple minutes i'm gonna log off here thank you so much guys and gals um yeah see paul testa thank you he's 90 so we'd have to do something over over here i want to you know keep him comfortable and keep him what he needs to um yeah william shatner is 90 that's what i heard but i wanted you guys and gals to confirm and paul you you i know you're on this stuff so yeah and 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 that's pretty crazy and it's it's kind of a shame that like all these actors are older and stuff but it's the law of the life law of life spanish says ley de la vida but um yeah it'd be great to get as many as possible but the thing is they're older and that's the problem that sometimes they don't understand what it's like to get on here. They're like, what am I doing? But it's like the new thing now. It's like what television was in the 50s, YouTube, right? So you never know. I'm always open to see what happens. Joe, driving in Florida, your daughter and I love, and you watch I Love Lucy. Have you ever done any reviews on those shows? Really? Wait, Lucy and Desi Commander? Of course. Check out my I Love Lucy. It's under the I Love Lucy playlist, and they're all there. Yeah, 
I, I talk I talk about every single episode of the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour in one video. So yeah, check that out. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it'd be great to do these live chats. I like it. I like it. I think I think if we space them out every um, every so often, I think it'll be great because it gives us something to talk about. If we do them every day, that's just too much. If we do them once a week, that might even be too much because we want to let stuff pass in terms of what I post. And I like to refer back to those as like the material that we usually talk about because um, I we definitely all want to have something to talk about, right? So, yeah. And then when we do have it and I announce it, it presses people to get questions ready and, and really engage. And so that's what we all want, right? Um, yeah, Larry Storch is 98, was on Gilligan's Island. Yes, absolutely. Very, very cool. Um, yes, I, wa I, I watched the 90s Little Rascals, and I really liked it. Yeah, 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 very much so. What YouTubers do I watch? Roman Atwood, Happy Place Explorers. I watch some Disney channels, meaning some Disney YouTubers. I don't know, I've always been a fan of theme parks. Theming, like, it's immersion, imagination, like when you walk into these sections of a land, it's like you're in a jungle. It's like when you're watching a movie, right? It's like a movie coming to life. That's what I love about theme parks. The rides are cool, but like the theming is what I really like. And it's just so intriguing how you can make like a movie show come to life. That's why, that's why I love Universal the most because I feel like it's like movies coming alive, right? Yeah. Nope, haven't connected with Butch Patrick. Nope, nope. I've reached out to him, but nothing back. Um, so, yeah. That'd be cool. I'd love to interview all these people. And it's one of those things where, honestly, I feel like as the channel grows, and that's all uh, to thanks to all of you who've helped the channel grow by liking, commenting, subscribing. It really does that. Because the more my channel grows, like let's say in theory, if I reach a million, oh my god. Um, yeah, these people are going to want to come on the channel and then you guys and gals can see them in our interactions. It's great for me, it's great for you, it's great for them. It promotes any of their work, their 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 memory. And so I'm all for it. You know, everyone's happy in that sense. So that's why I appreciate your support. It means a lot. So thank you so much. All right, thank you so much, guys and gals. You're awesome. Um, maybe you'll see me around the YouTubes. Remember... I make videos every couple days, literally every two, three days, there's a video up, hit the notification bell, all, and then you'll be notified every single video. And what I tell people, watch what you'd like to watch, um, and then maybe be open to see something you haven't seen, you may enjoy.